The best part about playing a superhero in the MCU is the family I was fortunate enough to join and to be a part of this group of superheroes. And, uh, and um, maybe this is a very strange thing to say, but how human we are. We are definitely not human, but there is a lot about us that I think is um, not so perfect, not so super, not so, and that's what makes us complex and interesting and I think, I hope, a little relatable. Welcome to the Sarah Scoop channel. Please like and subscribe for more of the scoop. When I first put it on, I felt a little um, uncomfortable because I don't walk around in things like that normally. <laughs> um, and, you know, my character is also very bright. Um, so I think I felt a little shy, and I, yeah, I respect the fans, and so there's a pressure to want to be good enough and um, deliver. So I, I was a little unsure. Um, but then when I was with everybody else, and I thought everybody else just looked so great, and I, then I felt, um, then it just made me happy and I felt, it, you know, it's part of the fun of our job too, to, to, to play dress up and to be together and, um, and a little bit of that for the fantasy and the creative, so it was okay. So Athena's powers are she can manifest any weapon um, in her hands and, and fight with any weapon. Don, who plays Gilgamesh, uh, Don and I are very close friends, um, very similar, in fact, to our characters. Um, if you were on set, you'd notice us hanging out in that same same way, and, and we both like fight scenes, and um, we had a, a good time together. And you know, it's interesting. People have said, well, the, well they're, they're best friends, or are they romantic, or what is this? And I think it's just, you just don't know. They just, they have something so much deeper. Um, I don't know what they're limited to. I just know that they have what matters most, which is that they are soldiers in arms. They are extremely loyal to each other. They would die for each other. Um, and they, they, they understand each other. So not a lot of us have, some of us may have a romantic relationship. We may have something, but we may never have that one person that really understands us or would die for us. I had a great experience with Chloe. Um, she's, it's a huge undertaking. And having directed films myself, nothing like this. I, it's, a, it's not an easy job. And I really thought often I didn't understand how she was managing all of it because it is, it's such, it's one of the biggest films ever. In the time span, in the creation of 10 different um, new superheroes with 10 different backstories with thousands of years in history, and but also all the nuance of, and then for the Marvel fans and tying the all of it together and then leading us forward. And it was such a puzzle. Um, I, think, I think we see something special in that she's somebody who loves cinema and she's a, a real intimacy with the audience, with the way she brings forward the, the film and she shares and she opens up in the way she shoots. But also she's a fan of the MCU and she loves all of it. And I think you can feel that. And I think that made her very special for this because she brought both the part of her that's a fan and also the part of her that is just this extraordinarily deep filmmaker that works um, in a very intimate way. You know, I've heard a lot of different people say a lot of different things. So I think, I think it's gonna be talked about for a while because I th think some things may even dawn on you later or will grow and you will understand what it meant. Um, I think it depends on who you are, what you will take from it. I think everybody, I hope, will at least have a great cinematic experience and it will entertain you but also I think draw you in and make you think and feel. So it's got all, all that good stuff. But to different people, um, it will represent different things. 
to, and certainly there's a, there are there are new characters um, that have there. There's representation that just simply hasn't existed, and and should have existed um, for a long time, and uh, so I I look forward to hearing what it what it will mean to to people. Thank you for watching. Head to sarahscoop.com for more of the scoop on your favorite things.